Hello everyone, uh, thanks for joining us today. So Justin Tyler, our PRE, asked me to talk to you about why re-enrollment is important. So let me start by talking about why re-enrollment is important for me uh, and for the school and then how that impacts you. So for me uh, personally, this is the point in time, I know that we've still got a lot of school year left, but this is the point in time for me when I'm already looking ahead to next year. I'm thinking about how many sections we're gonna need in each grade level. And from that, I'm gonna decide how many teachers that we need for each grade level, what resources we need for each grade level. So as a school, this is the time when we're doing our, our planning and setting up our, our, our curriculum plan for the entire year for next year. So uh, the way that impacts you and your kids and, and the school in general is the more accurate data and information I have about who's coming back the better able I am to plan what you need in your classrooms and, and get the best teachers at this time of the year when it's it's still in hiring season so that we're giving you the, the quality of education that you and your, that your student deserve. Okay, so next question that we wanted to talk about is specifically, how does re-enrollment impact you? Why is re-enrollment so important for you and for your child? Um, first and foremost, we really want you guys back next year. We've been through, the last two years have been kind of crazy, but we got through it together. Things are normalizing. We've got all these exciting ideas for next year and we really want you back. So that's that's important to us. And for that to happen, the, the re-enrollment is key. So when I first got here, you guys know I've been here six years. When I first got here, we were still a young, small, growing school and we rarely had waiting lists in, in sections. And so people kind of got in the habit of of rocking up when they got back from the summer, paying re-enrollment fees. Some people would even rock up that first day of school, pay the re-enrollment fees, go get their uniform, wham, kids off to school, right? Nice and easy. But the problem is, as, as we grow and as our reputation grows, more and more people wanna get into our school and we as a school have to hit a point where we need to give those seats to the, the new enrollments. And, and that time period comes up in the spring. Uh, so at some point we have to start giving those seats away and there's it's like a plane right there's only so many seats in a classroom you guys don't want me to put too many bodies in that classroom there's only so many seats and so if I got four sections that's a hundred seats and I, I just really like it breaks my heart I really don't want to go through the last two years in a row we've had parents show up now we have sent you know numerous reminders phone calls you name it, but I think maybe some people just don't believe that that seat could possibly be given away. They've been here for a while, but it breaks my heart. Every year I have somebody show up and say, hey, I'm back, and I'm, I'm looking at like back in which grade, third grade? I don't, I don't, I got, I'm looking at my list, I don't have a seat for you in third grade, and you know, parents are upset, kids are crying, I'm sometimes, I'm crying, right? Like we just don't, I don't want to do that to a parent ever again, and so to, to guarantee that doesn't happen to you or your child, pay the re-enrollment fee, please. Please, <laughs> pay the re-enrollment fees. Okay, and last question. Um, why do you get so many phone calls? Why do you get so many emails or SMSs? Why do you get a phone call from finance and you get another phone call from, from admissions? Um, it, it comes back to what we just said. I mean, there's that first part that we talked about that we really need that information to make sure we're planning the best academic program for you. That's that's important. Uh, and then I go back to the second thing that I talked about is it, it would break my heart if your seat was given away to, to someone else. You you are, if you are currently enrolled, you're part of our GAQ family, right? We're a team, we've all been through this together. You're our top priority. We wanna make sure that everybody who's currently here gets access to a seat before we give any of those seats to anybody else because you're our number one time priority. But at some point, we've got to start letting those new enrollments in. Um, and so the, you know, the sooner we get our re-enrollments finished, the sooner we can let the new, the new enrollments in. And so it's, it's not their fault, folks. If, if my staff are pestering you, that's coming from me. I'm sorry. I'm asking them, like, please, I got I to gotta know. Um, and they are. They're going to they're gonna send you emails. They're going to send you messages. But they're only doing it because we care about you and we want to make sure that you have a chance to come to our school. So uh, please be patient with my staff. Please pay re-enrollment and please come back next year. I want you back at school.